Hello there, Sev here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on filling your refillable gas system. Now, by refillable gas system, I'm referring to refillable bottles that could have been installed in place of removable ones, such as a, a gas low or gasset installation, or you may have an underslung tank that is filled via a port on the side or somewhere in and around your vehicle. These are classed as refillable systems because you don't exchange an empty bottle for a full one and then connect that to your vehicle. You are having a bottle that stays with the vehicle, either as a tank or as a bottle, but it stays with the vehicle and you just fill that up as you need with a filler port and obviously a gas pump at typically a filling station or somewhere similar. So if you have that type of gas system, then this video is going to be for you. Now, this is rather a simple guide. I'm just going to show you what the filler port will look like on typical UK vehicles uh, or vehicles set up for UK filling stations. And uh, I'm going to show you that process in action. So before we get to showing you the filler port and the filling process, I want to talk about a very important safety factor first. And that is quite simply, when your gas pump shuts off or stops the filling process, you stop. You do not continue. You do not try and squeeze any more gas in. You are full at that point. So just pack up and go and pay. That's it. Nice and simple. Once you're at 80% by volume, you're done. You're full. Anyway, that's it for the safety briefing, if you will. And uh, let's now show you the filler port on a vehicle that has a typical UK style filler port and uh, then also of course show you the process in a filling station so you can see it in action. So here we have the filling points on the vehicle. Now this one is black, they can be white, they can be all different colours, they can have different logos and things but the overall general design should be somewhat the same and to open we're just going to twist like this and it should pop off like so. There may be a plastic lanyard holding it in place and then inside there you can see uh, the filler itself. Now this is the standard UK fitting. It's a long cylinder with two lugs at the very rear which you can see there. Now the filling nozzle we're going to use is going to fit into here and grab onto those lugs when we tighten everything down and that is going to uh, allow the seal to take place. Um, now the threaded section on the inside is for the um, addition of an adapter for pumps on the continent or somewhere else where the filling nozzle may be a slightly different design. So that's how you access your filler. When putting this back on, if you do have the lanyard, I recommend just firstly putting the uh, cap in place and then just twisting it multiple times before you grab the lugs just to tighten up the lanyard so it's not going to get in the way and then you should be able to twist it down and then it shouldn't jam up on the uh, cap itself uh, which can make it quite hard to get back off again. So next up, we're gonna arrive at the station and I'll show you how to actually fill with gas. So here we are at the filling station. As you can see, we have the nozzle off here. This is the main filling nozzle as it's stored. You can see there's usually some kind of shield. Uh, and if Carl, if you wanna take the nozzle off the holder there, you can see the nozzle is the same sort of diameter as the filling hole itself. Has two holes to go past the lugs on the uh, adapter inside. And Carl, if you're gonna fit that on, so Carl's gonna insert it into the hole, make sure it goes past the nozzle. And then in this case, there's a locking lever, which he has to twist around and then pull back in order to clamp onto those lugs at the back and lock everything in place. And now that's there, he now just has to hold the filling button and that's gonna start filling the gas once the attendant turns the gas flow on, which he has now just done. So Carl's gonna remain holding here. Now your filler nozzle may have a twist collar to lock in place uh, that can be quite common as well and it can also still have a pull trigger that you have to hold simultaneously as you hold the filling button there can be various designs but the general process is going to be somewhat the same and as you can see the gas is going in so very shortly we're going to find the gas should stop dispensing and it says quite clearly here that we're to uh, use the disconnect lever to uh, release the uh, nozzle and that a small amount of gas may escape and that this is normal. So that's something to bear in mind. When we disconnect this, we will get a, an escape of gas, so that's gonna be released. Right, so the dispensing has just stopped, so Carl has released the button, and he's now gonna disconnect the nozzle. So he's holding onto the nozzle as he releases the lever. There's the little burst of gas, that's perfectly normal. And then he's going to 
uh, move the lever right the way around to fully release the nozzle and then insert it back into the pump. And it's as simple as that. And uh, all he's now gonna do is to return the uh, filler cap back in place, twist it in, 